Today, it's movie recap time for Look Away, a fantasy horror movie released in 2018. The film kicks off with a sonogram revealing two babies in the womb of a woman. It then swiftly shifts to Maria Brennan, a 17-year-old teenager preparing for school. She's very shy and finds it challenging to socialize. Her classmate, Mark, frequently bullies her, making her school life far from ideal. Maria's only friend, Lily, often neglects her when they are in larger groups. Maria's school days are marked by this loneliness. One day at school, Maria and Lily observe the ice hockey team's practice from the sidelines. Out of nowhere, Lily decides to interrupt the game to make out with her boyfriend, Sean. This stirs up jealousy in Maria because she has a crush on Sean. At home, she has dinner with her parents, Dan and Amy. Her dad works as a plastic surgeon, but he's also a womanizer and a perfectionist control freak. He's been a significant contributor to Maria's social anxiety due to his overbearing nature. Amy, on the other hand, tries her best for her daughter, but she's weighed down by depression and anxiety caused by her husband's actions. As the trio has dinner, Amy attempts to arrange a prom date for Maria, but she vehemently rejects the idea and storms off from the table. When she stops by the staircase, she overhears Dan discussing her failures, saying they have a screwed up daughter. Her father's words deeply hurt her, leading to tears. Later, while alone in her parents' room, Maria stumbles upon a picture hidden behind the mirror. It turns out to be a sonogram depicting twins. Soon after, when Maria goes to shower, she sees her reflection moving independently, sending shivers down her spine. Frightened, she rushes out of the bathroom. During breakfast, she tries to share this bizarre incident with Dan, but he rudely cuts her off, focusing instead on her appearance. He advises her to put on some makeup before going to school. Later at school, Lily focuses her attention on Sean, completely ignoring Maria. In a total jerk move, Mark makes Maria trip, causing her to fall down. The cruel act amuses everyone except for Sean, who not only helps her up but also reprimands Mark for being an idiot. That night, an eerie voice calls Maria's name from the bathroom. Intrigued, she enters the bathroom and observes her reflection turned away from her. This mirror image introduces herself as Aram, which is Maria spelled backwards. Aram claims to have been with Maria since her birth. She even boasts about having the ability to make Maria's sadness go away. Surprisingly, as they chat, Maria begins to like her talking reflection. Their conversations flow naturally, as Aram seems to have great knowledge of Maria's preferences, fears, and dislikes. The following day, Maria's new secret brings about a positive change in her mood. After school, she heads to her father's clinic as part of their bonding time. There, she notices Dan being overly friendly with a patient who doesn't have an appointment scheduled. He's looking just fine. Soon after, they proceed to enjoy a movie together. As Maria and her father leave the theater, they end up running into Mark, who drops his bullying facade and acts friendly toward Maria. As soon as they part ways, Mark's friends burst into laughter. Dan can see Maria feels terrible, but he chooses to remain silent. During their journey home, Dan mentions an early birthday present for Maria, telling her to drop by his clinic the next day. Soon after, Maria goes to the bathroom, and Aram ridicules her for believing that her father genuinely cares for her. Conversely, Maria believes her dad will get her a car as her birthday present, a sign of his love for her and also a way to avoid her bullies. The next day, Maria's hopes are destroyed when Dan reveals that her early birthday present is actually plastic surgery all over her face. He points out flaws in her nose and ears. Maria, disheartened by her father's idea of a present, simply agrees with it. Yes. Upon her return home, Aram provides a comforting presence, attempting to ease Maria's sadness. She even jokes about Dan's obvious affairs. However, Amy overhears Maria talking and enters the bathroom, alarmed, worried, she informs Dan that their daughter was talking to someone, but the man's magical solution is to give his wife a sleeping pill. Before retiring for the night, Amy tells Dan that her recurring nightmares are back. The next day, Maria and Lily go to an old clubhouse for ice skating practice in preparation for the upcoming winter prom. Lily exhibits masterful proficiency on the ice, whereas Maria struggles to maintain her balance. Her unsteady attempts result in a fall, causing pain in her knees. Instead of helping her friend, Lily tries to teach Maria a lesson, saying that she's seen the way she looks at Sean, her boyfriend. Later that day, as Maria sees her reflection, Aram promptly tells her that Lily isn't a friend. Although Maria is inclined to give Lily the benefit of the doubt, Aram strongly opposes the idea. She reminds Maria of all the times when Lily was bad to her, 
Ever since they were little kids, Aram then insists on her ability to make all the suffering go away. All Maria needs to do is switch places with her. As they reach out to touch each other's hands, Amy walks in and interrupts them. The following day, Amy helps Maria with makeup and dresses her elegantly for the winter prom night. Maria feels nervous about going, but she decides to go to make her mom happy. After getting there, she realizes that attending was not the best idea. As others gracefully glide across the ice, Maria struggles to keep herself on her feet. Sean soon arrives and offers some help, inviting her for a dance. They share a pleasant slow dance, making Lily instantly jealous. Suddenly, Maria loses her footing and tumbles to the ice. When Sean moves to help her up, Lily stops him. The notorious bully, Mark, extends his hand to Maria, apparently to assist her. However, Mark grabs her hand and drags her across the icy surface. Apparently, teens are all mean, because most of them laugh and do nothing as Maria is humiliated. Eventually, when he lets her go, she gets out of there as fast as she can and goes home in tears. Maria's patience with the mistreatment she faces from everyone finally reaches its breaking point. Crying, she implores Aram to fix her problems for her. Without hesitation, Maria and her reflection touch hands and join lips. In the wake of this weird interaction, Maria finds herself inside the mirror while Aram takes her place in the real world. That night, Amy is haunted by a recurring dream of a traumatic childbirth experience, which has plagued her since Maria's birth. The following morning at breakfast, Amy observes a drastic change in Maria's behavior. Considering that she would barely touch her food, she now devours a bagel, expressing genuine delight in its flavor. Amy is pleasantly surprised by the positive change. Later on, Aram goes to school and feels visibly more confident. Mark, the usual bully, brings up the winter prom's events. To his surprise, Aram gets close to him and whispers in his ear, saying she knows he's attracted to her. Her attitude leaves him speechless. Sean witnesses the episode and asks Aram what she said to Mark. The girl also whispers something in his ear, and Sean becomes disconcerted. Lily, curious about Maria's sudden confidence boost, brings up the prom incident. However, the new Maria dismisses it, boldly requesting that Lily continue teaching her how to skate. Though puzzled, Lily agrees to meet her at the clubhouse for further practice. After school, Aram pays a visit to Dan in his office. Her behavior suggests delight at their meeting, as if they haven't seen each other in years. Although Aram and Amy are both well aware of Dan's affairs, Amy is too scared to confront her husband. Determined to make the truth surface, Aram starts to act. When the clinic's receptionist goes to the bathroom, the girl calls Dan's mistress and schedules an appointment at the clinic for one o'clock. Simultaneously, she makes the receptionist inform her mother that she has a date with Dan at the same time. Later, when Amy arrives at the clinic, she unexpectedly runs into the mistress in the elevator, discovering her to be Dan's girlfriend. In the evening, Aram sarcastically asks Amy about Dan's whereabouts. Although Amy is aware of Dan's affair, she falsely claims that he is working late. After Aram says that he's out with someone else, Amy impulsively slaps her but immediately says I'm sorry. To Amy's surprise, Aram smiles, saying she's not sorry. I'm not. The real Maria, however, is dissatisfied with Aram's rudeness towards Amy. Aram argues that she's doing what Maria never had the courage to do. She simply tells Maria to have faith, but the girl inside the mirror starts regretting having switched sides. The next day, as everyone is leaving school, Aram cunningly lures Mark into the shower room. As he looks around for her, she strikes him with a hockey stick, causing him to collapse to the floor in agonizing pain. She shows her dark side and teaches the bully a lesson. Soon after, she joins Lily at the clubhouse for another round of ice skating practice. This time, Aram exhibits remarkable improvement in her skating abilities, much to Lily's irritation. Lily had always believed she was superior to Maria in every aspect. Aram is even able to emulate some of her top skating moves. Eventually, Aram falls down, and Lily seems pleased. As the girl gets up, she begins aggressively skating towards Lily. Although no words are spoken, Lily instinctively realizes that she's in trouble and attempts to run away from Aram. While Lily is being chased, she ends up losing her balance and hitting her head against the pavement. Unfortunately, she loses her life on the spot. Aram promptly dials the police and pretends to be desperate, but she feels satisfied with what just happened. Later on, as the girl gets home, we see that the real Maria is devastated by her friend's death. Yet Aram remains cold, saying that Lily got what she deserved. As Maria pleads to be released from the mirror, Aram insists that she still has much to accomplish. Following Lily's memorial service, Aram visits Sean's house, 
pretending to be grief-stricken by her friend's death. However, her true motive is to make a move on Sean, just as Maria had always wanted. At first, the boy asks her to stop and attempts to dismiss her, but Sean eventually gives in, and the two get physical. Some time later, Aram and Dan venture out for a father-daughter bonding dinner. She picks a crab from the menu and devours it in a rather messy fashion, which clearly irritates Dan. When he requests that she behave herself, she challenges his authority and keeps acting out. Finally, Dan uses his phone as a mirror and calls her an attention-seeking teenager. This harsh reprimand gets her to behave normally again. As time passes, Aram embarks on a romantic relationship with Sean, leading them to frequently skip classes together. When Aram takes him home, Amy unexpectedly sees them as a couple and becomes unsettled. Aram instructs her mother to go back to sleep and proceeds to lead Sean to her room, where they once again get physical. The next day at school, Aram sees policemen in the area. Worried, she urges Sean to cut class again so she won't have to face them and answer questions. As they drive to a place nearby and begin getting ready to engage in physical activities, Sean gets a call from his mom. She tells him that the cops are at his school and need to talk to him and Maria about Lily. After hanging up, the boy lets her know they need to go, but Aram ignores his call. She asks him why he cares about Lily, saying he shouldn't worry about someone who's not alive. The question makes Sean wonder if she's hiding something. Just as he calls her out on it, Aram strikes him with a bottle of alcohol and ends his life on the spot. Feeling lost, she moves to the bathroom and approaches the mirror, crying with Maria. The movie then goes into flashback mode, showing that Maria actually had a twin sister. It turns out she was born with a deformed face. Dan, who has always been a perfectionist, didn't accept the second daughter, even though Amy wanted her just as much as she wanted Maria. Aram is actually the second daughter, a girl deeply wounded by the fact that she wasn't good enough for her own father. A few hours later, Aram gets drunk and goes to her father's clinic. As Dan attempts to help her sober up, he is appalled when the girl removes all of her clothes. The man instantly orders her to get dressed, but she completely ignores him. The girl then asks her father if he would love her if she were deformed. When Dan attempts to change the subject, she insists on it, so the man says that he would love her anyway. After being lied to, Aram swiftly grabs a scalpel and attacks his throat with a sudden move. Hurt, she asks Dan why he couldn't just love her. Why couldn't you love me? Soon after, she moves to the bathroom to clean up the scalpel and fails to find her twin sister in the mirror. Aram then goes home and seeks her mother's comfort. In the final scene, both Maria and Aram lay on the bed next to Amy, suggesting that the sisters have somehow managed to reconnect with their mother now that Dan is gone. Thanks for watching. If you like our content, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.